You see, a lot of times you can be very zealous and your heart can be in the right place and you're really doing the best you can. But you know what? If you don't have the knowledge of the Word of God, you're doing things wrong. And Josiah was doing many things wrong for 10 years and it made him very upset to realize, I have been wrong all this time. Here's the Bible. I'm just now finding out about this stuff that we're supposed to be doing. And you know, that's probably a lot of how you will feel. Those of you who've never read the Bible cover to cover one time, if you would actually read the Bible cover to cover, because you know what, we're not living in Josiah's day where we have to go dig it out of a, uh, a rubble heap. Let me tell you something. It's available at the 99 cent store. It's available at the Dollar Tree. But you know what, if you haven't read the whole thing, it might as well be buried somewhere. I mean, you haven't read it any more than Josiah had read it. Josiah hadn't read it, and you haven't read it. You know, and that's why, and, and I encourage you, and, and we've got the little Bible plans in the back, the little checklist to tell you how to read it through cover to cover in one year. If you've never done it, that's a great place to start. Read it cover to cover in one year. Take about 15 minutes a day. And you know what? You say, well, I've been in church my whole life. It doesn't matter. I've known people that have been in church for 40 years that had never read the Bible cover to cover. Independent Fundamental Baptist for 40 years. You say, well, I'm sure over that time I heard it all. No, you didn't. Because there are parts that never get referenced in church. There are parts that rarely get turned to. And the only way to have read it is to set out to read it and make a point. And you know what? If you read it cover to cover, when you're done, you'll say, there was a lot of stuff I'd never read. I promise you that. 